Yeah, I thought about doing early fish run, but I haven't learned the fights enough yet. I would like to do early fish run sometime. Okay, not quite enough cobalt for a pickaxe. Okay, I can probably put away the shadow key. I will take the Spelunker potions. I will take... Oh, I want to get Night Owl potions. Kind of low on bl Blink Roots. Let's get that many. Blink root is always like the biggest pain because they bloom randomly. How about early can do fish on without it taking eternity and a half? I mean, I've, I've seen people do it like right now. Maybe get like a Onyx Blaster or something first. Yeah, it's, it's a very learnable fight. I haven't learned it enough though. Same with the uh, fuck. What, what is that boss called? The hallowed boss? N not the slime. You know which one I mean, right? New 1.4 boss. I, I don't remember what it's called. Wait, it's not hallowed, right? No, well, you get the butterfly thing to get the thing to spawn it. Well, I cannot remember what it's called. Queen Slime? Not the slime. The other one. Empress. Yeah, Empress of Light. I have not learned that fight either, so I'm not going to be fighting it during this playthrough. Okay, I should actually have a look at where my biome spawned. Okay, Hallowed is on the right side, as I predicted. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a problem, I think. This is gonna eat my... ...desert very quickly. In fact, it's probably already eating it. Like, if it spawned here... Yeah, it spawned like this, and that's gonna overlap with the desert. Like, the, the the desert is like this big or something. Make sure I'm not dying. So the desert, or the crimson has, should already be overtaking the, de the desert. At this moment. Uh, not much I can do about that. All right, well. Oh, you have a mining potion. Give me that. Don't go towards the crimson, dude. I'm sure I'll, I'll grab a dangerousness potion as well. I only got one of them. I'll just grab a thorns just to get rid of it. Alright. Any rock golems? <laughs> It'd be really funny if one spawns like right at the like behind the wall, because that means blocking it off would have was a very good idea. There's a mimic. I really want the philosopher's stone. Oh, it's right there. Not sure why it's already aggroed. <laughs> that actually hit the Mimic. Interesting. Please drop a Philosopher's Stone, because that would be sick. I think I will equip my... ...Band Regen again. Okay, 
dran kommen. Bound Wizard. I kind of care about that, actually. It'd be nice to have a... Uh oh I was suffocating there. It'd be nice to have a... <laughs> great place! Right at that detonator. It'd be nice to have a high-low high pylon. Okay, let's go back and craft a pickaxe. Legendary pickaxe, sweet. Can we get a repeater? We can. I think I might just get armor instead, though. Yeah, let's just get the helmet. Do not care about the... thing. Might... Be like, you bought the wrong helmets. No, I didn't. Or I crafted the wrong one, rather. Any rock columns? I see uh, Adamantite over there. Wait, is that Orc Halcom? And I, I didn't pay attention to which ores I got. I thought this was Adamantite, but I think it's actually Orcalcum. Yeah, it's Orcalcum, okay. Is that Tim? It is. Hello. Don't kill me, please. They nerfed the wizard hat. What is... Is that adamantite? That's definitely not titanium. Okay, yeah, that, that's adamantite. Okay. I kind of forgot what it looked like for a second. Like the... Well, not the color, but the texture. Or like general shape of it. Well, I know there's orcalcum like in the elevator, so I should... Uh, I can't tell if this is... Okay, I have a little bit of a hard time to tell the difference between Orcalcum and Adamantite right now. That's Orcalcum, definitely. Even says on my radar thing. I'm kind of going through these recall potions for like a new reason. All right, let's craft an anvil. Oh, I had, had like barely enough there. That's where Calcum over there. I'm playing this a lot more aggressively than I usually do. Because I want to change how I play. I don't really care about Cobalt if I'm being honest. I would rather spend my time looking for more or Calcum right now. Hello. That one should already be disarmed, but let's just make sure. Jack Sellington. <laughs> I 
This man played more Troia than me breeding on the planet. <laughs> Pretty much. Hi, Eric. How's it going, my dude? Uh, do I have enough for a pickaxe? I'm not sure, actually. I don't really care about cobalt. Ow. I only have my for 94, actually. Hello, boulder. Hello, boulder. Hello, dark trap. Oh, mimic. There it is. I need philosopher's stone. Some people like the cross necklace. I kind of have no respect for it. Maybe I maybe I underrated. Let me please. Oh, this is cross necklace. Thanks, I guess. How many explosions can one skeleton take anyway? Man, I'm, I'm playing so much more aggressively than I usually do, and I'm actually really liking it. This is so unlike how I normally play. That's why I'm supposed to destroy those chests. I've been lazy at doing so. What the fuck? Oh, that's interesting. Skeleton, please. I see our orc calcum like down there. Now I do need four souls of light. I think it's nine I need, right? You know what? I'm just gonna block myself in there. Okay, things to note. Illuminant slimes and illuminant bats are fucking dangerous. I think the slimes hit, or like the bats hit for like 200. They're also a complete pain in the ass when you have a bow. So we're he heading into very dangerous territory here. I'm probably gonna pop some uh, teleportation potions. Those are fun. Well, I, I like having the bad and region on now right now, because they buffed it. And you can uh, upgrade the... Uh, like, I, I used to not like the Philosopher's Stone. But ever since the Banner Region buff, I've been a big fan of it. Because you can combine it with the Philosopher's Stone. Okay, we should have enough for a pickaxe here. I mean, the thing is with the cross necklace, I kind of feel like it incentivizes, like, getting hit, sort of. Like, my strategy is, like, I know it sounds forehead, but my strategy is don't get hit. <laughs> Again, it's, it's very forehead. But, like, that's my strategy, though. And the cross necklace doesn't do anything.
if you don't get hit often. If you get hit all the time, the cross necklace is amazing. But if you get hit all the time, uh, yeah, you're... Wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> it's a great strategy. That's Orichalcum. I kind of don't care. I should grab it though just for armor. Because uh, Adamantite is pretty rare. Man, every time I get to this point, I'm never sure if I should make a Adamantite pick or not. I'm like, should I make that? Should I not make it? I think most of the time I do end up making it. Okay, we'll buy, I guess. But I'm always like, should I do it? Should I not? What do, what, what do you guys do? Do you make the Adamantite slash Titanium pick? first or do you just like focus on other stuff like the important things I'm, I'm actually genuinely curious about that I kind of don't care about this chest in fact it kind of scares me because it's not in the hut I mean there's no wiring nearby Right, I can auto fire now. Hallelujah. Um, do I care about any of this? The teleportation potions are fun. Let's, let's take those. Teleportation potions are actually pretty damn nice when you are in early hard mode. Now, it can teleport you to some useless area, but sometimes it will teleport you to like a new place, like a new cave you haven't been in, and then out. Okay, I'll take the Lava Charm, and I'll take these, and I'll take that. I'll take the recalls as well. Okay. Can I make any armor? Helmets. You might think I made the wrong one there. I did not. I always start with a weapon, then armor, and never picks. Interesting. I feel like most of the time I go with the pick first. Sorry, buddy. I should grab this. Don't don't flood my area here, please. Ooh. Oh, there's a hole there, so it wouldn't have flooded in the first place. Let's block this off. I need to focus more on getting souls as well. I, I did see that Orchalcum, but I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see it. I mean, I'm definitely gonna want the Adam Adamantite Repeater. I'm like half tempted to go for twins, like, really early here. Like, get four old Calcum armor and they just go twins. Is that stupid? I don't know. I, I kind of want to change my strategy, though. Like, and just, like, rush a lot more. Goodbye. 
I'm kind of tired of playing the game slowly. And I also want to practice for my 10 hour challenge, as I keep saying. I should probably still put stone blocks there instead of wood. Okay, I'll come over there. Kind of far away though. Now I need to make sure I get all the souls first before I like fighting any bosses. Because once you kill one mech boss, let's just say you would rather not visit hell anymore at that point. If you know, you know. Oops, I meant, I meant to capture that guy, but I guess he's dead now. Tortured soul, right. I always forget about this. Ow. I think I might highlight that wall of flesh fight. If you missed the wall of flesh fight, by the way. It was, uh, it, it was tense. Let me tell you. I, I recommend watching that, because... Oh! One of, one of, or probably the most tense Wall of Flesh hardcore fight I've ever had. I've had worse fights against him on non-hardcore. But on hardcore, easily the worst I've had. Like, not even close. I, I always, like, over-prepare for Wall. This time I was like, since I knew I always overprepared for it, I was kind of under underpreparing it. And uh, let's just say I was surprised I didn't die. <laughs> A lot of the chat was just like F as well while I was fighting him. That's how bad it was. So, Hell is actually a really good place to farm souls. Because I'm in Hell right now. Which means all of these enemies will drop souls. These slimes are really annoying. Oh, watch out for bats. The illuminate bats. Very dangerous. Do now get hit by the bats. Actually, I just thought about something. I actually do respect the cross necklace slightly more based on what I just thought about. Cross necklace really helps to prevent like dying super fast. Because sometimes you get, get like attacked by an enemy. And you just die, like, so fast. Like, before you even realize that you're being attacked. The cross necklace actually, like, prevents that. So maybe I should have actually kept it. I, I do admit that I underrated the cross necklace a little bit. Hello, Mimic. Dude, there's no way I'm gonna fight that. Like, why? Why Why bother? Sure, it's Stormbow, but like... You know what's an even better idea? <laughs> Don't fucking bother, because it's dangerous. And the Stormbow is like... I don't know. I, I, I genuinely don't think it's that great. Hello, Mimic. Man, it's so weird to play the game like this. Where I'm just like, yeah, there's there's enemies here. Let's see if I care. Ow. That only hits for 143, actually. I'm 
just making sure there's no enemies up here and I, and I get ambushed while fighting this guy. I thought it was the bat was gonna hit for more than that. It's still a lot. It's, it's still three hits and I'm dead. Which is why I probably should have kept the cross necklace. Because if I'm being attacked, I have more time to, like, get out. Get out of your sword. I think I did sell the cross nickels, though. I mean, it's not that important. The uh, Chaos Elementals look more dangerous than they are, but they actually hit for, like, nothing. Okay, well, when there's three of them, maybe a different story. Four, maybe. Okay. Uh... Robin Discord, please. No? Okay. Lots of souls, though. How are we doing souls? We have nine. Okay, I think that's actually enough. Okay, also went to police. I do see that geyser trap, by the way. Oh my god. Ooh, dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Okay, the castle mental is dying in lava. So I, I can just chill here and focus on the baths. More chaos elementals. Even more chaos elementals. I do have a calming potion. It might be a good time to use it. I think I would probably rather save. Okay. No reason to risk that. There was more adamantite there, but there's also about 400 million enemies. That was dangerous. Alright, we, we get the weapon first. Intimidating. No, we need, we need to reforge that. Right, crystal shards, I do need those actually. I was like, do I need crystal shards for anything? The, the answer is yes. Healing potions. Those are pretty important, huh? Yeah, we pretty much just got to hard mode. I recommend checking the VOD for the wall of flesh fight, because... Yikes, it was bad. Big yikes. What, what do you got for me, dude? Nothing, pretty much. Windy day. It's kind of weird how I keep, like, getting helmets and then never getting any, like, chest armor. Like, I've already gotten animated helmets and then crimson armor, which is weird. But, you know. Um, that's pretty good. No. No. Okay, we'll go with that Demonic. That's pretty good. I think Nasty might have been better there. Not sure. Okay, uh, we have enough stools of lights. I want to try and fight the twins, like... Within, like, 30 minutes from now. Recall pots? I do have a mirror. However, the recall pots... When you use the mirror, there's actually a delay before you get teleported. The recall pots do not have the delay. Which is... Very, very, very important when you're playing hardcore. Yeah, 
Yeah, that little delay when you teleport can feel like a fucking eternity. And I've already had one situation this run where if I used the uh, magic mirror instead of the recall pots, I would have died. I've already had one of those situations. All right. Crimson. Very dangerous. I'm, I'm gonna continue playing aggressively though. Because I'm actually really enjoying this like kind of new playstyle. I, I usually play this like just ridiculously cautiously. But I, 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 I want to get faster at the game. I have thought about speedrunning the game many times, but I don't think I will. I mean, my 10 hour challenge will sort of be a speedrun. Acre sticker. I need to kill these. Because acre arrows are of extreme importance. But they're also extremely dangerous. See the zombie coming for me, or floaty girls, rather. Those are dangerous because they're hard to see, and then they just like spawn on top of you, and then you're like, oh, okay. Actually, I should have kept the cross necklace. I really should have kept that. Huh. Would have been useful. Because region is not very useful when you're at max HP all the time. Um, this is dangerous. We're, we're fine though. Well, let's just get down. Oh, Iker, watch out. Danger. Luckily, if you're fighting them horizontally like this, they're pretty much no danger. Because their shots are affected by gravity. <laughs> Master cats, please. I mean, you're not wrong, but... And I want to get all the souls I need. Basically, like, once I'm done here, I don't want to come back. Because once you fight... If you, once you kill one mech boss, you don't want to go back to hell. Let's just put it that way. Uh, weird grapple there. I should get some more calcum. I kind of don't care though. I just want to get an adamantite. Don't deal with the devil. The lead is actually pretty useful for making iron skin potions. I'm kind of low on lead right now. Um, this place is not great, if I'm being honest. I'm just gonna leave. The Icar is very useful here. <laughs> 200 damage in normal mode armor. Yeah. That's normal mode. In master mode, they... Well, let's just say you don't want to get hit by that. For the worthy, it's just like. Forehead. Alright, finally we can get some pants. Nice pants. Let, let, let me check out my cor uh, corruption biome, see how it's doing. Whoops. Dude, these mushrooms, there's so many. I should probably fight the uh, Eater Worlds soon. It's not very large.
How much do I care about fighting the Eater Worlds before mech bosses? I don't know, a little bit. It's gonna take a while though. I think these NPCs, oh god, up there might be reducing spawn rate. Remember when, when these corruptors used to spread corruption? That was dumb. I didn't realize they changed that until like mid 1.3. <laughs> and it was changed in like 1.2, I think. Uh, this, this grind is gonna take a while. Um, battle potion. Water candle. Like, I should do this now. When I do my 10 hour challenge, I'm probably not gonna do this. Purpling suit. Gonna do a hard kilometer hardcore? Yes, I'm very interested in that. Okay, battle potion plus water candle may be dangerous. Ah! Okay. Okay, may maybe slightly dangerous, huh? Let's get these potions out. I didn't, I didn't press my buff button there because I didn't want to... Um... Use my splunkers. Yeah, Calamity was definitely surprisingly hard when I played death mode. I mean, I died like almost 200 times against the Devourer Gods. And then like 150 times against Yaron. Uh, I never beat Supre Supreme Calamitous because I played range and range on Supreme Calamitous was unplayable. So I had to switch class and I kind of like lost interest at that point. So I never like really continued it. I don't know if they fixed it, but range is so unbelievably fucking bad for Supreme Calamitous. It's like actually ridiculous. Dude, Devour Gods is like... I, I really enjoy that boss. They changed it a lot, though. Since I... When I played it. There's also a new boss that I'm... Actually, two new bosses. There's the Old Duke and Dreydon. I have not looked at either of them. I kind of know what Dreydon's about, but I haven't looked at the boss at all. Why are the slimes, dude? Get out of here. Like I said, the, this slime accessory, like you always want to have it on you because it's, it's so much more useful than you might think. Like, e e even right now, slime accessory is like really good. Hey, Anthony. How's it going? I've reached the Supreme Climbness exactly once. I mean, the same. I've only played through Climbity once. Well, on my own, anyway. I, I played with my group of friends. The OFR. And we did actually do Supreme Climbness as well. And it was like... I think we played on Revengeance. We did not play Death Mode. And Supreme Climbness in a group was like... Pretty damn easy. Just there to watch, what are you up to? Uh, right now we're farming... Rotten Chunks to fight the Eater Worlds. This is a crimson world, however, I built my own artificial corruption. 
the way you do that is uh, if the dryad is in a graveyard biome she will actually sell you seeds of the opposite world evil that you have so if you just put the dryad in the in the graveyard she will sell corrupt seeds and then you can make your own corruption why eater? I would like to get the worm scarf. Let's reduce or remove the battle potion. All right, I kind of want to wait for daytime before I fight the eater worlds. Bad. This is a crimson world, but we're gonna fight the eater worlds. Uh, well, let's use a teleportation potion. All right. Well, that was useless. Also useless. There might, might, might be some like wooden chests here. I, I still would like to get an aglet and the uh, climbing class. Oh, wooden chest right there. Either Aglet or Climbing Claws would be fantastic. Okay, well... Never mind, I guess. Spider Nest? No, I don't think so. These teleportation potions have not been very impressive so far. This seems alright, though. This area. Excuse me, skeleton. Get out of here. There's a chest there. I don't, I don't really care. Any plans to beat Golden Army? Uh, did that long? Oh, you, you mean in hard mode? No. We're pretty much gonna skip as much as possible. Well, I pretty much, I mean, we're literally going to do that. I, I will do hardcore playthroughs in the future where I, like, do everything. But this one, we're going to skip, like, pretty much everything. I wonder how necessary Edamantite armor is going to be here. I remember really, really thinking about skipping Edamantite armor. I mean, honestly, yes. It's, it's not smart. But when have I ever been smart here in the stream? Ooh! Got one of those caves. I think I'm like, kind of too far high up right now. We got like a... Neon cave, sort of? I don't know what they're called. Golden cave? I should get that or Calcum. Don't be lazy. It's, it's like right here, so just get it. I still need more Souls of Night as well. And I would also need more Icker, if I'm being honest. Ooh, Mimic. Where? Like up here? Oh, it's gonna take forever to find it. Oh, it's gone. Never mind. I know everyone is just sitting here waiting for, for a rock golem to spawn. I bet someone has already pre-typed a forehead when a rock golem spawns. <laughs> just <laughs> have their finger on the enter key. Calcum. I thought it was Adamantite for a second. It's actually kind of hard to tell the difference between Orcalcum and Adamantite with the Spelunker. 
They're basically the same color, it's just they're a different texture. I kind of don't care about the chest there, by the way. Magic quiver. That's an accessory, right? I, I don't think I will be using it. In fact, I, I will definitely not be using it. It'll be cool to get it, though. Um... It is? Okay. I think I'm going too high up. <laughs> Old Den would be so scared of that skeleton right there. New Den? Nah, I'll just fucking run through him, pretty much. I don't love exploring here because this is not a, like a special biome, so I'm not getting any souls. I, I just want some adamantites and then we'll go fight the twins. Okay, I would like to get full adamantite armor. Alright, uh, we are not going to be getting the uh, stormbow. I detect nearby. Where could it be though? I wish I had the binoculars. Oh. Is that it? That's our calcum, isn't it? Yeah, that's our calcum. Where's the Adamantite tight dude? I probably should have visited the desert. Just to get some uh, mining potions. There it is. Having some issues placing torches. I should probably get some shine potions. In fact, I definitely should because they're easy to make. Ow. Okay, let's not disturb this party zone. We'll just leave these guys to do their thing. And I will just leave. Goodbye. This is Orcalcum, isn't it? They look so similar. Yeah, it's Orcalcum. Like, when I see Adamantites, I, I know it's Adamantites, but whenever I see Orichalcum, I'm like, is that Orichalcum? Because I, I can definitely... Because uh, they're actually not that similar. I'm just being dumb. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> I'm just ignoring that fairy. Does anyone have, have any idea how much ore I would need for the chest plates and the legs? If you know, I would love to know. I haven't encountered any rock columns yet. I haven't encountered any marble biomes either. This is our Calgon. Actually, big surprise that I haven't encountered any marble biomes at all in this playthrough. Okay, not much out of my sight, but I guess it's some. <laughs> I looted chest and they die. <laughs> yeah.
That's not a mimic, is it? No. I would still really like to get the Philosopher's Stone. For rock golem. The thing is, with the way I'm playing, if a rock golem spawns, I'm extremely likely to just die. Because it's gonna attack me be before I notice it. There is a chance that the brain of confusion will save me. This song again never gets old. True. Mimic nearby. Oh, where is it? Somewhere like down and to the left, I think. I'm actually not sure if... Okay, it's gone. Yeah, okay, it's gone. Oh, am I hearing that right? <laughs> Hello, sir. Please don't come over here. Oh, sorry, I, I just noticed that RNG guy hosted me 20 minutes ago. 21 minutes ago. Uh, I missed that completely. Apologies, man. I don't know if you're still here. But thank you very much for the host. Sorry I missed it. The rock. Also, I thought ro rock golem showed up on the rare creatures radar. It does not. Or count for breastplate and greaves. Yes, that'd be great. Sadman's are nearby, I can't find a bow. <laughs> okay, that bone serpent just dropped a hot dog. 168 ore. Okay, we're pretty much there. I got five bars as well. I think five bars is 20 ore, right? So we're actually there. Hot dog. Dude, I, I should get the fuck out of these caves before I rock golem. Like, I should not be testing my luck on these rock golems not spawning. But... I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'm still going. I mean, this adamantite right here should be enough. Cool. Thank you, Rasash. Appreciate it. All right, should should be good on ores now. Yeah, I do have the forge. All right, legs, plates, crates. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or Calcum for anything. I guess I can just sell it. Alright, we got full adamantite. Poggers, etc. Oh, I'll 
sell the workout. Yay. I'll, I'll keep the uh, adamantite in case I want to make a pick. Uh, let's go and fight the Eater Worlds. <laughs> it, it always feels so strange uh, fighting the Eater Worlds like at this point in the game. Oh, mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom. Badger, badger. Mushroom, mu okay, we'll stop. <laughs> Food. Badger bags. <laughs> Sorry. Rip or calcum. Can put away the splunker potions now. Well, th there was something else I was going to do. Right, I need to go to the hollow. And kill pixies. Cause fuck them. Basically. Um let's let's put down the slime thing again. Oh well, let's just press on them now. Now don't under underestimate this fight. It can be still be pretty dangerous. They hit for like 20, so like. If I don't pay attention, it could be pretty dangerous. Okay. Many things. Ow. That corruptor is really annoying. How many worms are there? Good god. Silly. Mechanical worm? What the fuck? Okay. That's actually pretty helpful. Now we only need two more souls of knights. If you don't know, by the way, the mechanical worm is uh, pretty fucking rare. Let's not summon that right now. Not that I can, anyway. A worm gave you a worm. Alright, worm scarf. Speaking of worms. Alright, we need more ichor. 14, isn't it 150 arrows? Per ichor. Yeah. So we're gonna need quite a lot of this, actually. Uh, I think... I think I normally fight the Moon Lord using ichor arrows. So, yeah, we, we want a lot of Icarus for that. <laughs> How long did two end up before reaching out? 17%? Yeah, it's very it's oddly specific. I should be getting shine potions as well. well. Let's get those. I don't care about frostburn anymore. Good goodbye. Man, I've really gone through with these hellfire arrows. 
Like, holy crap, I've gone through them. I think I can just buy more from, like, this lab. Yeah, they're, they're like, pretty cheap. I mean, I could just craft them as well. But I could be lazy and just buy them. I'm probably buying too many. Alright, we still need Souls of Knights. But I also need, um... Hello, Pixie. Well, this is annoying. Hmm. This hollow is fucking tiny. Because it overlaps with the ice biome. And it's not able to spread because of the crimson. Ah. Uh. Parts of the crimson, I can, but it's not gonna be very effective. Let's do it this way. Let's buy some hell seeds. And we're going to spread them this side. Pinky? Oh, did I miss it? Rip. Alright, we'll, we'll just give it some time to spawn there while I... Do this. Uh, pixie dust should be going in alchemy. Purification powder, get all the crimson grass. Yeah, it's gonna take kind of a while though, so I think I will just make my own hello over there. Whoa, laziness strats. Alright, we need more. Icker, and we also need more um, souls of night. Kind of need some more crystal shards as well. I mean, bosses drop a lot of healing potions, so probably don't need too many actually. Maybe I need to focus on killing Icker stickers here. And general the uh, crimson enemies. We're ve very close to being able to fight the twins. I'm, I'm liking how fast this playthrough is going. It's not going to be quite fast enough for my 10 hour challenge, but... So I already have enough souls of night, actually. But I really don't want to go back to hell, so, like... Uh, okay. Huh. Well, that's... Alright. So... I'm not too interested in that right now. Hello. Getting hit by something that I didn't see. J just stay in the house, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if you saw the chat box there, but uh, yeah. Yeah, d dynamite is not a bow, unfortunately. Yeah, there's so many of them.
And any time now. In about three, two, one. Boop. Hello, sir. How's it going? And goodbye. Um, okay. It's a fucking uh, full moon as well. Uh. I could attempt to fight it. I I've got like kind of the gear, but I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not too interested in fighting fucking Skeleton Prime when it's a blood moon. I I'm just gonna wait out the blood moon, honestly. If I go to like the cavern biome, this is just, just, just gonna be like a hundred rock columns and it's gonna be just gonna be like forehead. Wolf charm. I mean, it's a good time to fight uh, Demon Eyes for lenses. Party girls probably gonna die here. I got a moon charm. <laughs> Not gonna be using it though. Party girl! You fucking dead. Told you. Yeah, enemies are a little tanky. The enemies are just like all of your base are belong to us. Wish it was spawn more demon eyes. Not the wandering eyes though. Those are annoying. These guys, demon eyes. No lens. If you're ever on a wooden platform like this and there's like enemies chasing you, you can just do this and they will all drop down. Clowns! Fucking clowns! I remember when those bombs actually like used to destroy blocks. That was stupid, but also hilarious. Any banana rings? Nope. I think I bought so many arrows, I guess. I mean, I would love to go and fight some acre stickers, but it's just gonna spawn like 300 of them. And they're actually like really dangerous, so. Hey, a Drippler. <laughs> I still don't have a money drop. This is actually the first blood moon I've had in this place. Money drop would be nice to get. God, I just remember the Zurich potion from Calamity. That was very silly. We just spawned like a million fucking enemies. Yeah. 
Man, I really don't want to play Calamity again. Calamity is like what made me realize my love for boss fights. Like, Calamity really changed my interest in gaming in general. Which sounds kind of like, I don't know, cringe, but it did though. It made me realize how much I enjoy boss fights. And, and then Crosscode was just oh, fantastic. Zerg Potion's Mega Battle Pot? Yeah, I think it was nerfed, but it would spawn so many fucking enemies. Like, it would be like 80 enemies on the screen at all times. It, it was very silly. And most of the time when you popped the Zerg Potion, you would die pretty quickly. But you could get like 100 kills before you died, even though you died like very fast just because there's so many enemies and it was it was great for like farming stuff good thing i bought so many arrows yeah i, I remember making a uh, mob grinder for blood orbs and then popping a zerg potion and i was able to get like 10,000 blood orbs in like five minutes. Which was pretty amazing considering how many attempts the late game bosses took. Man, if it spawns like a pirate invasion and like a solar eclipse right now, I'm, I'm gonna lose my mind. That's when it's good to have one of those enchanted sundials. In case you're wondering, you cannot sleep through a blood moon. It don't work. I was gonna be like, maybe I should do some fishing during this blood moon. Then I was like, no! Absolutely not. <laughs> hey, werewolf banner. Absolutely do not do fishing during Blood Moon. I don't know if you know this, but they added Blood Moon fishing to 1.4. It's like a thing now. And holy shit, is it dangerous. Oh, is it the ocean? Okay. Can I relog? You mean for the Blood Moon? The Blood Moon is still gonna be there. Alright, I kinda wanna get more Icar. I'm not sure how much I should get. I think I was using Hellfire arrows against the Destroyer, if I recall. No slime mounts. I had one, but I destroyed it. Or I, I sold it. Because I kind of like... I don't know. I, I don't like mounts in this game. I, I never use them. <laughs> Yeah, I probably should keep the fast false line, but I, I did think about it when when I sold it, but I was like, eh, whatever. I'm not sure how much Icarus she gets. It's gonna take a while to do this. 
It's also going to be very dangerous. Ow. Careful of these bats, they confuse you. And then you're like... Bruh. Oh, shot. Ow. Make your stickers. You want to be horizontally of an acre sticker. You don't want to be above it or below it. Like, this is ideal. I have Feral Bite right now, which is very dangerous. I also have Icar. Watch out for this guy. Ah! I should probably teleport. HP is low. I might get equipped the banner regen. Oh, the Icarus sticker re despawned. Dang it. Well, this area is pretty great if I can figure out how to get down here without dying. And I'm not sure how I'm going to accomplish that. Actually, well, let's do it this way. That's like a while. I just, I just really don't want to... The acre stickers are just so dangerous, man. I didn't see the lava, it's just... <laughs> Take a dip. Got 11 acre right now. That's... 1,650 arrows. Quick maths. Can't attack if you're stun locking them. You gotta make sure you are stun locking them though. Don't like this. Piano mount? Excuse me. Pretty sure the follows by the way, since you know, I'm not sure the follows come through. I don't call them out, but I still appreciate it regardless. Thanks everyone for being here. There's a mimic. Somewhere. It's on the left. It's probably gonna despawn. And it's gone. How am I doing arrows? Doing fine. That's more hard. I'm trying to get what's the difference between that and expert. Uh, just higher stats on everything. There's no AI changes like an expert. Everything just hits really fucking hard. This is... Um, let's do it this way. Oh, lots of acre stickers here. This is great. It's also, uh, very dangerous. If I do this right, it should be totally fine, though. Oh, yeah, you have, um... An, access an extra accessory slot as well. 
which is super nice. And yeah, enemies have a lot more HP. Like, purple slimes have like 120 HP. Pretty hard mode. It's pretty silly. Yes, I, ha I have seven accessory slots right now. It is pretty dope, not gonna lie. See the bats. Never play hardcore? Have you tried it? I would recommend you try it. Like, I mean, when I play softcore, I still, like, I also die a lot. But, like, hardcore is so... I mean, it is, it is still the same game, but it kind of doesn't feel like it's... I, I, I would recommend you try it. Because it's actually surprisingly... You might be surprised on how different it feels to play. Like, if this playthrough was soft, was soft core, I probably would have died like five times by now. But since it's hardcore, I, you just end up playing it so differently. It's really interesting, actually. I, I'm gonna leave now. We got lots of acre. <laughs> the perfect amount, actually. All right. So how about them twins, though? Nice. Any mech bosses? Not yet. We're gonna be fighting the twins shortly. Yeah, I'm kind of cheating by hitting the slime with the thing, but... Okay, fine. <laughs> I should get endurance potions for the twins. Should I get a uh, crit potion? It might be good to get like one. <laughs> Boax. Mega base. Uh, in hardcore, I don't really build. However, outside of hardcore, I love building. I used to post a bunch of my builds on the uh, subreddits. Try a subreddit. I haven't built in a long time, though. I've made some uh, pretty cool stuff. I mean, I guess I could sh go on my main world real quick and show off, but... Kind of like, why, though? Nice. 